All right. Good afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another wonderful edition of Grown Women Gaming. We are here with our lovely panel today, except Lady Infamous. She is on away duty doing the research for us at TwitchCon, so she will have a report <laughs> next week with all the goodies. Um, but yes, first of all, let's check in with everybody who is here today. First off, we have El Boogie. How you doing, everybody? I hope everybody's having a blessed Saturday morning. Yeah. Uh, I know I am. Woke up late, but I'm here. Yeah, tell us somebody's in the background doing dishes or something, but yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try to fix the audio. I'm sorry. That's no, good. That's <laughs> all good. You know, it's in the morning time. Trying to get some dishes done. Yeah, do what you got to do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm here too. Uh, Lala yes, yes, yes. Last but not least, we have Mr. <laughs> Lala HD. Yes, glad to be here. Looking forward to these topics you got for us, Cherie. So let's go. Yes, yes, yes. First of all, what have we been playing? And El Boogie, save what you mean yes, playing and go to the second one. No, I think you're I think you think what I main been playing is Ooh. the first thing I've been playing. Oh, but, oh uh, <laughs> since this thing came out, hours Every every available hour is on this game. Wow! And I'm talking about Red Dead Redemption Two. Yes, I figured. Yes. I figured. Okay, so we're gonna yes. we gonna skip her and come back to her. Delilah, <laughs> what have you been playing? Girl, you don't want to know my answer because it's kind of along the same lines. But I, I definitely been playing oh. other things. Um, I've been playing a little bit of Hollow Knight. You guys know I love those Metroidvania games. Um, I played some. I finally got into Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, since everybody uh, been bugging me about it, so I started kind of trying to jump into that. And of course, last but definitely not least, um, Red Dead Two, the game's fire. Oh my god! But anyway, what are your what are your impressions though about Odyssey? Because like Odyssey's good. I mean, only thing that's this kind of got me on pause with Odyssey is the combat. Like I can't. I'm, I was so used to playing the way Origins had it because you had, was able to block and have a better, you know, the better shields and stuff like that. It was mm -hmm. dope. Like I, I can't get past the the parry requirement on on Odyssey. Like okay. it, to me, the combat <laughs> change is so drastic in in that regard. To is a turn off for me. You know, it's a little bit of a turn off for me. But everything else is great. Like it's got a lot of elements from um from Origins, but. Yeah, the only the only problem is combat for me. Like I'm, I'm struggling with that. But I don't know. I'm thinking just maybe it may take a little bit more time for me to get used to the combat. But yeah. So it doesn't feel like super similar. Yes, it's very samey. I keep using the word samey, like because samey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everything. I mean, from the way the game looks to the you know, it just it looks just like Origins to me, except for like there's right. pyramids and you know, that's really it. That's okay. Okay, no, no, no comment, Sherry. No <laughs> but um, I'm loving. It. I like. I like. The thing is, I like the the main character, the, the Cassandra. I think her name is, or something like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like her, so it's kind of that's helping me because I I like her character, like the way she, her personality, the way she thinks about things and behaves and stuff like that. I think it's cool. Um, I like the way they did the quests. To me, it's a little bit better. I like being able to make choices in the game, which is a little bit different from um, from the previous game. Uh, so I like being able. I like that. Let me see. Like I said, I like everything about the game, except for the sameness and the uh, combat. So the sameness. Yes. And this is what, when you come to the choice in Odyssey, um, it will affect the ending of the game. There, are, this game has multiple endings. And you have to, um, there's a good ending, a straight good ending, there's a straight bad ending, and then there's like some endings in the middle. Um, so watch your choices yeah. and make sure you're right, making the right one. So just want to put that out there. Um, what I've been playing this week, I don't know if anybody um, tuned in to me and ladies playthrough of A Way Out. I um, did. <laughs> That shit was hilarious. Yes, I to go like, back and watch it too. It they're too funny. Yes, like <laughs> them two are not escaping no prison. <laughs> Again, I'm not made out for that prison life. Um, we had to cross through River Poo. It was not good. It was I can't do it. Um, it was it was hilarious. That game is awesome. But playing with Lady took it to a whole nother level. Um, because it was it was great. 
it was really great. So if y'all either check it out on her Twitch or you check it out on my mixer. Um Yes, I, I almost picked from- that video for the background video for this, but I was like, you know oh, what? You we definitely should I probably should have. <laughs> <'cause> you <laughs> definitely should have. It was pretty funny. <laughs> like the the one when they're going up the elevator. Like uh, I think it was the like yeah. the elevator shaft. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, we right. couldn't get that timing right. We couldn't, right. It, we couldn't get that timing right. Um, <laughs> it, it, and then she was like snapping folks' necks left and right. And then she like ran over people on the bridge. I'm like, lady. <laughs> yep. No, She's like, it no. said go full speed. And she's running over people. I'm like, that's not how you play the game. You're trying to escape like <laughs> quietly. I'm no. like, these See, I wouldn't know. She, no. Uh-uh. But yeah, so I've been playing that. Um, what else have I been playing this week? Um, I played a little bit of Odyssey. I've played. I've been switching games left and right all this week. Um, as you can see, like my gameplay is playing in the background here, Final Fantasy. For some odd reason, I decided to put that in and play it. Um, I just been all over the place. I'm gonna jump on that Fallout uh, beta this afternoon from five to seven. Five to seven people. Five um, seven. Yes. Got it. <laughs> East Coast time. So I don't know what that is. West Coast boogie. I don't know what you got. Um. What are you talking about? You don't know. Like, I don't understand why people act like it's so difficult. It's three hours. I thought it was four. I thought it was no. four, too. It was three. It was four three. from where? <laughs> Georgia. It's cold. I don't... No. <laughs> it's, 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 it's three hours. It's three hours. It's three real. hours, y'all. Yeah. You yeah. know what? You know how you like got that? Like, no, central. No, 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 you no, put your other time up on your clock? I'm going to put that. So, put one for East Coast and one West Coast. Yeah, so like apparently, if we go to like Arizona, it's only like a one hour difference, mm. depending on like what time of the year it is, which that's super confusing. But like, yeah, no, East Coast, West Coast, always three hours standard. Yeah. Yeah, see, no, no, see, I need you to write it down on the, on a note and like put it. Somewhere. I'm going to pin it to your wall. <laughs> it's, 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 she's right it's not that bad it's not that bad um, i just i don't know I, it's, it's not clicking with me but i get to it i'm gonna I'm work on it just for you boogie <laughs> but yes I love you. To our big topic of the week i swear there was literally no other news going on in gaming except red dead redemption yeah every time you clicked on some site you turn you look up twitter red dead was on there so yep. I tried Please. my damn that's not to uh, see anything until it was, you know, until mm-hmm. I could put it in, yeah. And, it, and you was playing at, like, midnight. I'm like, this Hell yeah. is, well, midnight my time anyway. You know mm-hmm. what time it was hers. But I'm like, oh, my God. I was trying to sleep, but I, I didn't want to watch it. Yeah. I tried not to anyway. Yeah, but yeah so Thoughts Lady. Dodging, the, the, dodging people's streams and then. News about the game yeah. that's been kind of rough. I, like, and I didn't play the first couple, first two games, so I had to watch a couple YouTube videos to get caught up on like who's who and what's going on and stuff like that. Because um, it's a prequel, and so it's kind of interesting how they're tying all that stuff together. Um, it's dope. Oh my god, I lo- I'm loving it so far. I mean, it actually kind of yeah. makes me want to go back and play the previous games because of the references that they make, but. Yeah, there are. There were a couple of times I was confused, but um, because it's a prequel, I'm just like, well, I'll probably have a better understanding of the other story. Yeah. After playing this one. Yeah. But it's glorious. Oh. It's glorious. It is, it is. <laughs> so should I get this game? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. It's a must buy. If you like yeah, if you want to play, go go ahead, Delilah. Go ahead. I was saying to me, it's a must buy um, because it, 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 not only does it have the like the story concepts, it's open world, like gameplay is fantastic, the voice acting is va- fantastic. Like to me, this is how this is how a game is supposed to be made. It makes me so proud, and like this is the games, the type of games I expect for this generation. You know what I mean? Maybe we're gonna get them next generation, but this is the type of games I expect for for uh, for this generation. So. It's it's good. I don't. Want, I'm trying not to spoil anything. Right. I, it, it, it's just, I mean, from the physics to the to the, um, the the way they transition you into like different things within the game. Sometimes you don't know if it's a cutscene or if it's not. Like they they just did a good job with, with the transitions and and like you know throwing you into other quests and stuff like that. It's it's good. 
I don't know what else to say other than it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I think that it's definitely if you're trying to play the new benchmark and how to make open world games, you need to play this game. But I don't like westerns, people. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? How do you know. not like westerns? I've been trying to figure that out for years. Um, I don't know what's going. I just on. don't. I, it, I've never have. So, but I'm a tombstone. I don't know. You don't like tombstone. Uh, well, Tombstone is totally different because you have to like Tombstone. That's like the best movie ever sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. Well, this definitely feels like Tombstone, okay? No. <laughs> I see now, see now that's the best review somebody could have said right there. Yeah, Tombstone was I, good, man. I love yeah, that movie. I, I, I will play a Tombstone game now. But yes, but because everybody's like, oh, while we talk, we did a giveaway about for this game. Um, oh, yeah, good, like point. good point. No, no, we gave yeah. we gave it away. Oh, we gave okay, okay, we gave. Yeah, Amy like night. literally emailed me three minutes before the deadline. Wow. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. dang Nico. <laughs> like, like, right. He was like, "Oh my god!" Like, I hope I'm in time. I'm like, "Yo, you were <laughs> cutting it so close." Then yeah. he's like. His something was wrong with his internet, and he said he wanted it on PS4. I said, "Good luck, bro." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, good that's, luck playing this game. It's a problem right now on PS4. If you guys haven't haven't heard, I mean, with the whole PS4 Pro 4K false advertising, with the load mm-hmm. times, the double discs, all that kind of stuff, it's, it's it's crazy right now. I'm still confused about this damn double disc. I thought we had moved out of that. I legit thought we had moved past that. I wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is going on. I know that it probably... I don't know how many people downloaded it in our chat for PS4, but I know that, like, regular downloading games takes forever for whatever reason. It's always taking longer on PS4 than it does on my Xbox. I have no idea why. But, um, yeah, so downloading 100 gigs, good luck. Yeah, it's... it's, uh... Yeah, I mean, the the double disc thing. Like, I I don't know. Sharice, maybe you got some more insight on the double disc thing. Um, I haven't used a double disc thing since. Oh my god, some game from the Xbox era. I mean, the original Xbox or something. This is just crazy. And apparently, the issues is with the second disc or something. Um, it's not. I don't know. Something is not downloading right, or I don't know. I. But it's just. It's weird. It's that's. Again, like we said from last week, they need to patch their shit. Um, something ain't right here. Yeah. Everything to every other week. Actually, at this point, it's not even every other week. It's every week. There's some sort of issue with the PlayStation Network. Um, something is going on, and they need to fix that shit. Um, I feel for people who bought this game and now they can't play it like they're supposed to, or better yet, who's still downloading it from last night. Yeah, right. <clears throat> like, cause I, from from what I'm understanding from the PlayStation Four, it's like not only do it has to download the base game, but it has to download an additional 50 gigs. In order to process the, the digital download, um, from my understanding of it, and so yeah, it's, it's crazy. And then and then this whole thing about the PS4 4K false advertising, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that junk's crazy. Like I, some of these memes are like so hilarious. It's like you know, because I mean, PlayStation 4 has this whole thing, you know, playing in 4K and playing in 4K, and then they got like in the in the fine print, it's like outputs at, uh, low, you know, lower resolution or whatever. And it's like, okay, well, so basically you're saying it's not 4K in the fine print, but you're still advertising that it is in 4K. And it's just like, right. when are people going to hold Sony accountable for false advertising this? Um, and that, that's what I'm waiting to see. That's what I'm waiting to see, because nobody's holding them accountable. Um, let, this, let, this, let this have been Microsoft doing this, Say, putting 4K on right. everything, and then right. and then saying, and then it really isn't 4K, you know. So it's What's interesting. What's the dude named Ferguson? This Rod Ferguson. He's like played on the best system yet. Yeah. Hashtag Xbox. I was like, ooh, yeah. dirty, but so funny. Yeah, Final Fantasy 13 had for, had um three discs. That's the last game I played that had um super had multiple discs. I. And I hated that game. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, um... That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry. I again, I like ladies that kick ass, but Lightning was a very bad character. I hated her. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Um, said lightning. <laughs> like, yeah, lightning. That's her name. Lightning. I, and I hated her name. I hated her. I just hated her, period. She was a. I, uh, she was horrible. Um, well, since we. I know that um, Delilah, you playing on an X. Are you playing it on a 4K TV as well? Yes, yes. I might have a 4K <laughs> monitor right up here in, my, in the office. So I'm playing it on that. That's, that's my go to. Um, have yes. you played it on both to see like the difference? No, I haven't played. I haven't um, loaded it up downstairs to see, you know, the difference between the the quality in regards to like the picture. I mean, we do have yeah. the Xbox One Fat downstairs. Um, because I, oh, I, I heard that it does not run the same. I want to like, compare, like, I, but you know me, like, I want to compare. Yeah, um, right. where they will run like at least halfway decent, and uh, so. Mm-mm. Like, know. so I have my 4K TV that I've been playing on, and it looks like, it looks like there's definitely times when you're like, this shit looks so real, like when he's writing. Mm-hmm. And um, so I have it on there, but then, like, the monitor that, that I play on to stream is just, it's, it's free sync enabled, but it's uh, not 4K. So um, there's, uh, what is it called? Down sampling? Yeah, what is it down sample. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Um, and it still looks pretty good, but it doesn't look as good. Mm-hmm. Like, it still looks gorgeous, but I mean, it just looks phenomenal on the Samsung A thousand with the Xbox One X. I mean, that is just like the best you're gonna be able to see this game. Yeah, I know. I know people watching can probably see me playing with this video back here. For some reason, the resolution keep jumping around. Like it, it'll stay at like the base resolution, and all of a sudden it'll size it down. So I had to switch the video because I thought it was the video that was doing that, but apparently it's actually OBS that's doing this. And I'm been looking it up trying to fix it. So I do apologize for all the movement that's going on back there. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Yeah, because it went like that when I was playing because I'm, <laughs> like, I'm already blind. I can this will make it worse. Yes, this is driven. It's just driving me crazy, you know. But anyway, sorry about that. Keep it pushing. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, I'm going to try next topic. Oh, wait. Are you finished with Red Dead? Uh, try, please. It, we'll never be finished with Red Dead because it's so much. Yeah, so we didn't have a special episode can't. just for Red Dead. <laughs> and we don't want to give away anything because people are still just loading it up, still starting it. So you don't want to give away any of the story. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a story. story next week. Although I will that? say that I went to hunt this big-ass fucking bear. And it I heard me. about that bear. It I, killed I heard me. about oh that bear. Gosh. And then, you know, I was like, go ahead. Oh, so they're like, oh, do you want to leave with the dude or do you want to stay and try to hunt the bear? So I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm staying trying to hunt this bear. Yeah. That bear ate my ass up. <laughs> <laughs> ate my ass. Yeah, I, up. I avoided the bear. Like, I, it was early on in the game. And so, you know, you going through a path with somebody and they, he's like, yo, let's try to get around this bear because he didn't want the, he clearly didn't want to fight oh, yeah, the bear. Oh, yeah, right. And right. I'm like, yo, I'm not touching him because I, I had, we had cargo. I'm about to lose that mess. I'm like, bump it. Yeah. Um, that wasn't a bear though. Oh. <laughs> There's but a bigger, scarier bear. I know one thing though. Yeah, bigger, is, scarier bear. <laughs> I, I know one thing though. Like one thing that stood out to me the most was like I said, the physics and things like that. Because when you, right. when you shoot, like I would, these wolves run up on us and like you shoot yes. one and the blood splatter on the, on the snow. Yeah. I'm like, yo, they, this is some. This is some and when stuff. I killed a deer, have you killed yes, a deer yet? Yes, I, I was with so deer hunting. Yes, I like maimed the deer, right? I didn't kill it all the way, so I had to run up and like kill it with a knife. And yeah. I was like, "Ooh, I felt that! Like I yeah. felt <laughs> the kill that that final stab to kill it. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. like so real." Uh, speaking of deer, let Even, me go for this deer meat out of freezer for dinner tonight. Oh, ooh, cool. that sounds delicious. <laughs> Country, anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Told some hey, and I'm hoping somebody right. bring me a deer to, um this week so I can go get Yo, if you um, ever make deer jerky, you're gonna have to FedEx it to me. Because that's <laughs> like the business. I have had that before. That shit is good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's so much better than regular jerky. Um hey. But yes, okay. Before right. we spend this whole thing talking about red dead, because yes. right. apparently we can't do that. Yes. Um we did some news from TwitchCom did leak out. So, but again, we want ladies full report when she gets back next week. Mm-hmm. But apparently, they're finna, Twitch is going to start doing a squad stream where you can stream yeah. with your friends. Hmm. What does this sound like, people? It sound like co stream on Mixer. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, they've been copying them since day one, though. Like, yeah. 
Yeah, trying to get the the like fashion. all the innovation that has yeah. happened in the last two two years with uh, Twitch is because of Mixer. But that's what that's the great thing about competition, competition right? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, so, so I know uh, Boogie, you're mainly a Mixer person, even though you sometimes stream on Tuesdays on with t- your people. Yeah, right. So, but is anybody going to try this out? Ooh. I can see lady. I can see lady using it because we we sometimes, well, dang, because everybody has to be on Twitch, right? So ooh. right, I have a Twitch channel, so we can try it out if y'all want. Yeah, to. me too. I have a Twitch me channel. Too. So. Yeah, I have um, one with nothing on it, but it is what it is. I still got one. Um, <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe I try just to see the, the, the compare. You know, be like, let me see what let's see what they're working with. Right. Like, what I like about Mixer though is the fact that you can do it all through the console. It's like y'all invite someone. You can do you can, well. I don't know. Do they not do that anymore? I thought no, they I'm, used to allow you to stream to Twitch through your console. No, I was, no? I was talking about the co stream though. Like, because you know how you could you can co stream right. Oh, through your so you can't co stream through your console. You can't squad. It's, it's, it's squad stream. You can't squad stream on Twitch. Oh, <laughs> they call it's it. squad stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, I don't know if you can squad stream on Twitch uh, through the console just yet. I mean, that might require another update or something. So. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that sucks. I mean, I'll be able to do it still, I guess, because I usually stream, you know, on my computer. But that sucks. Yeah, it's 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 fairly new, so maybe they'll work all the kinks out of it. Where you just you know do it straight from the system. Um, hopefully, yeah. Make if you're gonna copy something, I'll well copy it all the way. Um, but yeah, so again. This just leaked out of Twitch farm. We have more information next week when Lady comes in. So, but I want to put that in there just to pass it on to our lovely people. Yeah. Right. Um. Next topic is Game Pass, at which I, I use. Who is anybody else using Game Pass? Yes. Yes, I love Game Pass. Game Pass is awesome. Yes. Game Pass. Yeah, is especially for the kids. I haven't bought her a game in forever, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Besides Minecraft, I haven't, but she loving game. Hey, mama, can I get this? Is it on Game right. Pass? Yep. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, like Hello um, Neighbor. Did you see the Hello Neighbors on Game Pass? Like, that seems scary. Yeah. Isn't it scary? And she was just talking about it. Yeah, she been wanting it, though, so now she got it. There oh, you go. Man, right. The baby wanted it. Yo, yo, but, um, you know. Yeah, their generation is like all about like I don't know what's gonna happen to us because they love scary <laughs> crap. I'm like, yeah, wants <laughs> they, to gonna have, to, uh, they gonna have to oh, purge you know, for real. <laughs> not doing it. Yeah, mm. but yeah. So now it's coming to PC. Um, okay. Any thoughts on this? Anybody's gonna so I'm, Game Pass I don't on know. PC? Yeah, well, that's great. I think it's fantastic. Cause I'm a PC gamer, so you know. I'm dying to know like what games they're gonna have on PC because you know they they're gonna probably gonna have a different set of games considering the fact that not all games are on both console and PC. Um, so I'm I'm I wanna know what they're gonna put on there. You know what I mean? Like what games you know, are they gonna try to do like um, Age of Empires and stuff like that? IPs that Microsoft own that's only that's only on PC. Like I can see them doing things like that. And I wouldn't doubt that we would see something like this on the XO event that's um, happening in November, November 10th. So and I can't wait. I can't yes, wait. Yes, I mean, I don't, I'm trying to temper my expectations simply because of the fact that they could easily just be like reel, reel it in and not have a huge um, show. But they make it sound like it's going to be something that's going to be very substantive, you know, like, like juicy, right? So I don't know. I, like I said, I'm trying to reel it in. But Game Pass your, on PC, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to keep, trying to keep your it. expectations yes, normal. Yes, 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 yes. Um, right. But Game Pass on PC, yes, I'm excited. I hope they release some VR content because you know they do got the mixed reality stuff on. From Microsoft has the mixed reality stuff, so I'm looking forward to this. You know, it's, and I wonder what I wonder is like, is Mike? Do I have to pay an extra subscription for PC, or is it just one and I can play it on both? If so, then I'm that definitely would be forward. nice. That I'm would definitely, be nice. if it automatically just comes with my current subscription, then this is definitely a win win situation for me. So, that'd be a good, that'd be a good question. Somebody to like do some, do some, uh, digging to find out, like, is this, cause I want, if, if it's, if it's still like they're not changing the price and it's like $9.99 and, and, uh, like it's on both platforms because of like play anywhere and things like that, then, man, let's go. I'm good. I'm still waiting for them to announce that Gold and Game Pass is going to be bundled together because you know that's coming. Oh, I hope so. They need to. They, they should have been. That's the only logical move. Yeah. 
They should have been been than that. And another thing they need to do is to take the free to play games outside of the multiplayer play wall. They mm-hmm. need to. They need yep. to. They need to do that. that yeah, everybody keep complaining about that. Yeah, they need to do that. I, I sent the message to Phil. Like, Phil, what's up with this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to know. Like, are we ever gonna see this happen? Like, we ever gonna see these free to play games outside of the paywall? You know? And so, yeah, it is what it is. We'll see it eventually. I'm sure. One day. Yeah. All right. All right. Moving on. Um, I don't know if anybody keeps up with esports. Um, some sometimes, Slightly, a, little sometimes bit. a little bit. Well, this week was a very completely week for them. Um, they was all over the place. Um, one dude got an endorsement deal from Nike. Another dude got banned for five years for cheating at a Ooh. tournament in front of the judge, which was wow. like the dumbest move ever. Like he's literally deleting shit off his computer while the judge is standing behind him. Um, mm-hmm. like you stupid. Um, then a third Drake, the rapper, has actually. Invested in a esports team. I did see that. Yeah. So my question is: Has esports finally reached the big time? They get endorsement it's deals. It's money. Yeah, it's yeah. money. I think I think it's on the cusp. Like I think because now you're trying to see these endorsements, like that's big, Nike and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think now that you're starting to see these big companies and, and big, uh, you know, I guess influencers get behind it, then we you could see it boom. Uh, people have been investing in esports for a long time, though. You know, but Drake is a big name, so maybe this will be what it pushes it over the edge. Um, but man, wow! I mean, I think it's great. You know, I, I mean, I, they even like it was going around Atlanta a little bit. They're gonna have like an esports arena. I'm like an esports arena. You know, <laughs> it's like all esports. You know? Y'all got space for that? Atlanta, man. Do you know how big Atlanta is? Yeah, yeah. But y'all yeah, always complaining about down. space now. Man, dude, this Atlanta's so packed though. But you're right. Yeah. You're right. But yes, we got some. We got some room up in Gwinnett, you know. We got some like down south, you know what I'm saying? We got and the boonies, <laughs> the boonies, and the boonies, <laughs> the boonies, <laughs> the boonies. <laughs> but nah, um, we got some. We, uh, shoot, we'll find some space. Don't get it twisted. We'll tear down a couple buildings and throw something right, right now. Oh, that part. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I, I, I would if an esports arena came to Atlanta, I would definitely support it. I think, I think that's huge. I think it's big and, um. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's on the level of like the NBA and the NFL clearly and like soccer just yet. But it's they trying. They try, I know. I know in uh, like Japan and other countries, it's bigger over there too. So we'll see, yeah, man. Give but it time. the dude was, that got banned was from India. He's from an Indian uh, Indian team. Oh um, man, did you know what he was doing? In the game did you was, know how he was cheating? Yeah. He had the program that was automatically locking on people, letting him see through walls. Yeah, aimbot. And, he had an aimbot. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Slim yeah, he was walls? blatantly cheating. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. And make it so bad. This is the second time he's been caught cheating. The first time he was like, "Oh, I didn't know that." Was it's like, uh, are you good, computer. bro? Are you really good, bro? Right. Like, no, you're not. You know, what I mean, if you got to cheat, then you definitely mm-mm. no. So, but yeah, yes. and plus, you know, like certain schools have scholarships now to be to play esports. Yep. You can go to school yeah. to play. You can go to college. To a lot of colleges, game. yeah. So, I think it's gonna come a time mm. when, yeah, we're gonna, you know, have, they put they now it's like ESPN thirty channel. Mm. One day, esports might actually be on the main ESPN channel, and yeah, that's gonna be I awesome. Know, um, it was it was a channel that had was showing airing something from Twitch. Uh, a few months back regarding something along those lines. Um, I can't remember what, but it was a major network. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, I don't want to say it was ESPN. I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but yeah. I mean, I think even the Madden tournaments at one point, they were trying to air those on uh, on a big network. You know, so yeah, it, it can get crazy. I mean, especially now they got these huge prize pools and stuff like that, like with Evo, and you could win hundreds of thousands of dollars, and people are changing their lives or just playing video games and winning tournaments, so... Right. Even with um streaming and stuff. Like I was telling my mom about Ninja last night. She's like, Well, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's definitely like not that games, easy. You know? Right. Yeah, like if it was that, that easy, too. everybody would be doing it. But yeah. 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 Yep. So moving to a slightly different topic, but still in the technology field. Um Google has fired forty eight people for sexual misconduct. Um, everybody has a Gmail address because we all use YouTube. Um, so we're all some way affected by this to a certain extent. 
But do you think this will change the culture altogether with pink firms? You seeing this big firm right here actually taking a stand against sexual misconduct, probably sexual harassment, whatever in its workplace. So do you see this trickling down to other companies and it's changing the atmosphere wow. for women in the in tech field? Dude, like, oh, man, I don't even know how to put this because like I've dealt with something like this, you know, you know, sexual misconduct in the past, you know, and places that I work. And so for them to fire 48 people and it was as big as um, <clears throat> Google is, I'm surprised it's not a bigger number. Like, just to be real, right. because Google's huge. They got thousands of people working there. Um, and it's like, man, what, you know, what, I even read an article, like they had an instance where they were protecting people too, in some cases. Oh yeah. Um, so man, well, I mean, I, it's like, I, this has come surprise, a bit of a surprise, but not really like, cause it's just like the fact that you, them posting and making it public that they had to fire people. Cause sometimes this stuff don't ever leak out. Like it don't ever come out that they fire somebody because of a specific reason. Typically it's just, Oh, we had to let so-and-so go, but they don't tell the reason of why they let that person go. Um, so that's why th that's the surprise part is the fact that they put it out public like this. Um, when I, will it help change the culture that I don't, I don't think so. People always going to have something crazy to say, sly to say that they're going to be able to get away with certain things, say things on it. Like, so, you know, unintentionally, or subconsciously they don't know that they're offending somebody when they really are it's always right. going to be something that people take sense like be sensitive to you know like i told you guys a story about like my workplace and dude was like sorry to be busting your balls sorry to be busting your balls and like i had yeah. to my son was like literally no balls so, like stop saying that and so he but he didn't know that he was like offending me by constantly saying right. like, you guys don't really know like how many times he said this like it was crazy so well, I think the biggest problem with people is that, like, just because it doesn't offend you doesn't mean that it cannot be offensive. Right. So, like, I think it's super hard for a lot of people to, like, see that you're offending someone and then take that information and know that you now need to change your behavior. Because even though it doesn't offend you, you're offending someone. Right. So, like, you still need to change your behavior. Like, I don't. It's like so hard for so many people to get. They're like, well, why is that offensive? It doesn't matter if you understand why it's offensive. It's offensive to me. So you just need to change yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I need to fix that. Like another thing too, I got like a, a little small story where like even it could be a little something that you just doesn't know that's being offensive. Like for instance, some, like a dude will say, oh yeah, the size, like talking about an image or whatever and say, oh yeah, the size doesn't matter. And somebody can just say, oh yes, it does. And then that could be taken misconstrued as, you know what I mean? A sexual misconduct. So you got to be real careful you know it's 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 crazy because any little thing can sometimes get make cost you your job um and then it makes you as a especially as a, as a woman in the industry it makes you like you don't want to mention nothing to hr because you don't want to put your job in jeopardy right and you know i've been in this industry shoot now for whew, um i'll say about 13 years and so it, it it's it's trippy right because i've seen it kind of change i've seen it grow it, it used to be way worse than what it is now because of the whole me too right. movement and so yeah man i mean hopefully yeah i do i do want to want it to change i don't want that to be like a you know i think something that prevents people from wanting to get into the industry because some people are, and some ladies i've seen them leave the industry because they don't they can't mm -hmm. deal with it being in being the only female around a bunch of dudes and and not being able to like take the little slide jokes and comments because i mean you just you, you're just gonna hear it you know right so and you got to remember too that our this industry that we love is the industry full of people who did not get a lot of those social uh corrections that most people got because they were inside right true <laughs> you know <laughs> so you know uh there's a lot of things that they have decided is okay but truly in society is not but they're just not abreast of that because they spent most of their adolescence inside yeah that's true you know? especially if they were homeschooled or something you don't know where. right you don't know everyone's background that is so right mm -hmm. right but, you know, the biggest story here is the fact that um, Google is super downplaying the fact that they had a large, very large data breach and just decided to close down Google Google Plus. You I guys hear about that? I did that. 
I saw where they yes. were closing it down, but I didn't so, understand why. Yes. So they're like super sneakily um, shutting down Google Plus and not talking about the fact that, uh, which I think is why they publicized this story about the 48 people. Because like you said, Delilah, that's a very small number for such a large company. Yeah. Um, But so they had a very large data breach with their Google Plus system, which really means that a lot of our information is probably compromised compromised because all of their systems are integrated. Mm -hmm. Google Plus was integrated with Google, you know, just like how you have to sign in on everything Google with your Google password. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, and instead of fixing the problem, they're just shutting down Google Plus because it must be that bad of a problem that they can't figure out how to shut it how to fix it easily so they're just going to shut down google plus totally yeah wow that's huge because like, yeah i mean but think about it when last time you use google plus like let's be real like, right not a lot of people use but, it so they probably figured that there aren't a, there aren't enough people actively using it so it's not worth trying to save but at the same time what are you doing about all the data that has been breached yeah this is interesting coming from Google because, like, they recently shut down um, YouTube Gaming. So it was like YouTube Gaming mm-hmm. and now Google Plus. So, like, what's really going on? Like, what's really right. going on at Google? Like, for them to all of a sudden stop on some of their services. And then, but then they got the gaming stream, streaming thing. Mm-hmm. Like, it makes me kind of worry of that considering the fact that is that going to eventually get shut down too? Like, <laughs> you don't want to invest in something that's going to go away. Like, that's just being real. So they're going to have to clean it up. I mean, hopefully, you know, them releasing this news and shutting down Google Plus and these 48 people and all that good stuff, it would be like the start of that. I mean, we don't know. But you said that's the only reason why they stay, they did the 48 people was because of that breach. No, no. I'm just saying that it's like funny, you know, that they put out it's this story about that. Yeah, right. Tiny, like that's probably a cover up, you know, yes. like, oh, look over here while we're doing this yeah. over there. Yeah. You know, there's a major fire over here, but it's a small right, yeah. right there. Right. We put out this little fire. So right. don't worry. Distraction, the whole distraction thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's just like PR 101, you know. Like anybody who's been through like business marketing, stuff like that, you know that that's what they're doing. They're like telling people, oh, look, we fixed this. You know, don't look over here because they, they're not really talking about it. If you look it up, you'll see information about it. But um, it's not like prominent. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if you I haven't gotten anything from Google that says, hey, we've had a glitch. Right. We're notifying you that your information has been compromised. Like, what's going I didn't, on? That's, this is the first I'm hearing about this. Yeah, I might have too. to go look up. Me too. Yeah, and I heard of it. I heard of it because I'm taking a um, cybersecurity class. So my teacher came and told us about it. And we were like, we haven't heard anything. So, yeah, yeah that that's how I got on my radar. Mm-hmm. See, look, again, come to our show and you get knowledge, people. <laughs> you get knowledge. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. Right, um, everybody start posting your questions got questions for us go ahead and get them ready from the chat make sure to make your question part bold for i can see it because i'm blind yeah, just um, a small little story again by the sony i hate to pick on them not really but i hate to do it um <laughs> this name change issue is crazy um okay let me see if i can remember everything that could go wrong if you change your name um you will lose your dlc or paid games you right. could lose your achievements. You could lose your saves. Um, what else was there? There was something they else. They cut off access to DLC and stop some games from working. This is crazy. Like somebody tried to like they have a somebody tried to explain this to me. I think we somebody y'all last week tried to explain this to me. It's still bogging my mind that this was not thought of when this system was first put in place that, Hey, these people might want to change their name. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Again, I'm so auto generated IDs typically when you create a, create a user, like to me, it's just simple database stuff. Like typically with a database, you have a unique key, which is a random ID generated ID. And that acts as your name. And then the, the actual, the actual name is just a placeholder. So if you change that name or you change the pseudo name, it's not going to affect the user because they had, they actually looking at an ID instead of the name. To me, it's basic database stuff at the very core of it. Basic. Like that's why this is so surprising. So shocking that the PS name is that LinkedIn It's it makes me feel like they use the actual P 
PS, like the actual name, as the, the unique key instead of an, a random generated ID. If that makes sense for you, Daddy. That's exactly what I had because they're gonna they're not gonna be able to access games that took place between what before two thousand fourteen or something. Yeah. They won't be able to play older games. Yeah. What kind of crazy? It's like that's, that's crazy. It makes you wonder, like, is it worth it? Like, is it worth it to even? Um, no. Even no. change your name. I'd be scared at this point. It's like, okay, y'all, y'all oh. at providing this as a feature, supposedly, but this can break everything. So I don't, I'm not changing my name. I wouldn't either. I'd be um, some stupid 13 year old with X right. O's, whatever. Johnny loves <laughs> Chachi 12.4 mm-hmm. for the rest of my life. Yeah. I just, I didn't understand it. And you I know, thought it's it was always these weird. crazy names like Super Dong 13 or. You Thank know, you. Coolie poo or something crazy like that. You know, it's never like your first, your very first email that you created while using high yes, school. Yes, you got it. Not, my, my my actual name back in the day was Queen. It was Queen DP. I'd be big on that Queen thing, but it was like Queen DP two. That was my jam. Queen DP two, whatever that means. Now, would you? <laughs> now, if that was your gamer tag and you could not change it, I would still rock with it. It wasn't that bad. I ain't never come up with no crazy um name like some people. Um, and it was crazy because I got that name from my grandmother. My grandma had when she first got onto internet, she had Queen JT too, and so I was like, I want to do what my grandma did. You know, that's crazy, right? Your grandma started it all, started the name. Um, right. And uh, so I yeah. have it sometimes. But yeah, Queen D Queen DP two isn't a bad name though. Like that's not bad. Some people can <laughs> come up with some dumb junk like. You know, I'm pretty sure y'all yeah. have seen some weird stuff or some racist stuff or you know. Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's crazy. Yes, I see a few questions. Um, one from Jazzy. What's up, Jazzy? Uh, what do you think the streaming platforms need to do for next features or growth? Ooh, or growth. That'd be interesting. Wait a minute, I didn't see the question. What do you mean? Uh, oh, I said I said okay. Yes, pl- and also if you got questions, please uh type it in like the word question. Type it in all caps so we can point it out easily. Cause yeah, I'm dying slow over here trying to find these things. Um, we need lady. Lady usually find the questions for us. Anyway, <laughs> um, she's on. She's on. She's on assignment, ma'am. She's on assignment. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay, so what do you what for do you growth. think of these need to be for growth? They just need a yes. they, for me. Uh, they need to either bundle it, the, the streaming service, specifically if I'm talking about xCloud, the one for Xbox, they need to either bundle it with Game Pass, you know, so you don't got to pay any extra money for the feature, or just provide it as like a, some sort of like a, like with Xbox Live Gold, like that's now like included with your gold cost. Like to me, that will make it take off because if you have gold, that means you automatically got access to xCloud. You don't got to pay nothing extra. It is what it is. You just have that as a feature. Um, that's to me. That's what Microsoft would need to do for X Cloud to take off. It's like just and promote the crap out of it if they want it to really be something that people pay attention to. Um, that part. And ma- um, make sure it works. Like that's the primary thing is make sure it works. Like yeah, like, don't be like Sony. Pack your shit from the start. That's right. <laughs> you know, shoot. Like make just make sure it's it's fluid and it's just, if it's sixty frames, let it be sixty frames. Like and be indistinguishable between playing on console and playing on stream like that's hard to pull off and if they can pull that off i think it'll be uh, you know something everybody's using you know traveling without their consoles and using it on their tablets if they if you are unable to distinguish between playing it on hardware versus software then you got something plain and simple because if it's laggy even a little bit people are going to complain if it's if it takes long to load up at the first start of it, people are gonna put complain because we live in an instant society. We want it now. We want it right now. Like right, take- I think that's why people are having issues with Red Dead too, because they're like, oh, it's too slow. Like, okay, yeah, well, you gotta have some patience. Right, <laughs> but little- people that's have like zero patience me. nowadays. Yeah, but see, you, this I think it could be our age group. You know, but it doesn't bother right. us because we like we used to right. like having to wait for dial up back in the day. Like this is nothing. Right? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you remember so, that shit? <laughs> oh my god! Well, I was trying to explain dial up to my daughter, and she would not. She could not get it. She literally could not understand. Yes, that. and dial you up. couldn't use the phone. Like yeah. okay, yeah, so I'm on the internet. You, you cannot use the phone. No yes. one in the house can use the phone now. Right? My mom would be pissed. <laughs> She'd be like, "Could you get off the internet? You such and such calling so and so." Like it was yeah. a problem. People 
these younger people, like, they don't get it. They won't ever understand the, the Oh, my God. Shit. They make me feel so old at school <laughs> all the time. They, like, talk about pages and shit, and they're like, oh, that's so old. I'm like, you guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're so bad. Um, another question from my boy Bloody Knuckles. Let's see. With YouTube having as many issues with the platform lately, what do you think could be a potential next contender or platform that will fill it in? Hmm. Mm. Oh, we, we got Mixer and wow. Twitch. Well, Facebook is trying to get into gaming. They um, are. They're trying. Even they're trying the, hard. They Amazon, videos. Amazon's been trying forever. You know, right. Not a, they own but Twitch they don't, now. Yeah. So. Maybe the maybe Twitch will be the new YouTube. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. That kind of hurt me. <laughs> you didn't like that one, huh? No, I didn't like that one. <laughs> I didn't like that one. Okay, well, Sharice <laughs> didn't like that one. Let's throw that, let's do, do a king and throw that in the bushes. She's like, uh, <laughs> she like, nope. <laughs> right? Yeah. That, that didn't go well with me. Um, Let's see. Is there any more questions? I can't see right now. Uh, no, that was that, that was all that. That's it, I think. Man, I don't see any more questions. Y'all ain't got any more questions for us? Oh, Come yeah, on now. Right? Thanks, 11 of y'all in here. Where are the questions at? Technically, we got three more minutes now. Y'all can add one up in here. Yeah. Yeah, though. Let's see, Jazzy. What is Jazzy? His Twitch conference this weekend. Again, ladies going to have her report. I hope she's taking notes while she at TwitchCon. Right. I want a full right. report. Right? <laughs> yeah. We don't want no notes soaked in alcohol now. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, I guess but I can ask this question. Is, we got, what, two weeks until um, XO? I guess I can ask this question to the panel. Uh, two weeks till EXO. Um, what would you like to see at EXO? Not so much what you think is coming, rumors you've heard, but like, what would you like to see? And do you do you do you want it to be in a conference style, like kind of E three, or do you want it to be like in the st- traditional inside Xbox TV show? Style? Well, they already said it's going to be like a longer inside Xbox. Oh, see, I was hoping I had you. Made, you you crushed my dreams. You well, I mean, the reason. information is out there. Like, <laughs> I know. I was still hoping, though. I was still hoping. Yeah, I'm so, sorry. That's okay. what I've been told. Yeah. Um, so, but I like Inside Xbox. Like, I enjoy that. It's yeah. like a. It's just like the well, Nintendo crap that they do. You know. Yeah, like, so many people complain about it, which is insane to me. People complain about Inside Xbox, and it's like because yeah, they think everything's it. supposed to be like E three, like, and then yeah. if you, if someone doesn't win while they're watching Inside Xbox, then it's trash. Like, come on, people, <laughs> and like, what the fuck up? What was it? What is what is Nintendo is called the um, the tree? Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's something else. I forgot. Okay, Nintendo. It's just like Nintendo Direct, and right. people don't complain about that. It's like Mm-mm. Nintendo. <laughs> Right. <laughs> shit on people's front yard, and people yeah. would still scoop it up and say it's gold. Nintendo's man, Nintendo's one of the best best gaming companies in my opinion. Though. They they just they they treat their IPs like they're supposed to be treated. In my opinion, um, right? It's like they nurture they them. The, the, they nurture the reason why them. Xbox is like that because the sins of the past will not be buried. You know, like yeah, they can't get over twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. Or and not even just that, just Microsoft as a whole. You know, like for so long, Microsoft put out like. Uh, Big Evil Corp. Type oh, thing. yeah. O- yeah. OS hey, stuff still that just was stuff. not working. You know, yeah. Like you literally sold all these um, operating systems that just literally did not work for people, and you didn't refund anybody. Like there's like still super uh, holes in Vista, where like you know, because Vista also went to a lot of businesses, which people don't know. Mm-hmm. So like there's still a lot of holes where they had to go back and repatch and say, okay, we're going to go ahead and repatch these on Vista because there's this hole that's going to allow people to go into your company and take all your information, you know? So, yeah, yeah, you know, they've had some mistakes. They're a huge company. They've had mistakes. I think they're trying to do better now, you know? Yeah, they've been trying. Like, ever since uh, Satya Nadella became the um, CEO of of, uh, Microsoft, it's like they've been trying to change the culture. The culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and to me, it makes it very appealing because I I heard about, like, all the infighting they used to have and things like that. So, for them to try to clean all that up, it's it's huge. Um, Mm -hmm. That's hard to do to a corporation as big as Microsoft. All right. Um, that they actually out. admit that they haven't that they were in the wrong in the past because yeah. they have admitted they messed up. 
And so they're right. trying to make amends. So, hey, yeah. and but people do not want to forgive them, give them a chance. Hey, just look at them a different way. Most of these know? people weren't even like conscious Born. on the damn <laughs> systems and on, you know, for <laughs> computers to be upset. Yeah. They just bandwagon haters. Uh, three X spot rig rings back to back to back. back. You really back went to day. three. I don't hey, even you know what's one, crazy though with Red Ring. People complain about that, but Microsoft replaced them every time. Like we know mm-hmm. every no cost. time. Like they were like, okay, we got you. Boss, just send it in. We send you your one. Send you one back. Or I think they'll still replace it now. They probably if, it's, would. if you have, a, yeah. Mm-hmm. And people didn't understand. I'm like, okay, yeah, and, I and sent mine back, and they sent me a new one. They said, keep uh-huh. your hard drive. Send it in. Uh-huh. Send it in. I got another one. I mean, I don't know. Like, there's companies that are just like, oh. That's it. We're packing up. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, it's going to cost you such and such and such and such. And then right. you got to, you know, mail it to us and we'll fix it. And then, you know, no refunds. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things. And when right? you get that new one, we're not insuring that one. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So now that Red Dead is out, what what do you, what games are you looking forward to now that Red is out in, in this year? Don't, don't go to next year now. In like this he, is there, what he, else is coming out this year? Well, yeah, you, well, you still, yeah. You still got Battlefield. I think Battlefield. Nah, and... nobody paying attention to that. <laughs> and, I, and I love Battlefield, but it's just like, oh, and their man. battle royale not even coming out until 2019. Like, what are y'all doing? What are y'all like? <laughs> aren't even <laughs> trying to keep up no more. What is, what is the I have so many questions. I need somebody like I need these game developers like sit down in a room. Like we're gonna tie them to a chair and we just want them to sit down and answer our questions. Like, what was you man. thinking you made this decision? Like oh, man, what, how you how you piecemeal your game like this? At least Red Dead, yes, Red Dead is giving their multiplayer what next month, but they mm-hmm. got a damn what 60 hour single player. Like, if I buy this game, I ain't gonna be done with the single player game, even when the multiplayer come out. So I'll be cool with that. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah so, um, why like, is nobody talking about the fact that like well, not a lot of people are talking about the fact that Blackout literally does not work with four players. Wait, with four what players? Mean? What do you mean? Yeah, like when you want to be in a squad of four, like the servers. So like, yeah, they got Blackout out. It looks better than PUBG, but their servers are having a really hard time keeping up with like frame rate and stuff like that when wow. with all the players. Like they can't, they can't keep up. I didn't know that's that. I didn't. Good. Uh, that's terrible. Right. I didn't know that, that they were having issues with um with that. If we said when also when it's three people is the frame rate and stuff is good, but Susan Well, no, it's know. just if you go into squads. Oh, I see. Okay. Cuz squads is like four player, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if it's just like two like the servers are just not able to handle like all the people or what. But Wait, um, they, they said that it drops down. Yeah, they did have a beta. Yeah, they should be and really They were having issues in the beta. beta. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I was trying to, trying to. I was trying to pull up real quick to see, uh, like exactly what else is coming out now that Red Dead's out. Um, yeah, me too. Spyro. <laughs> yeah, Spyro just cost four. I pass. I, I, um, maybe. They got a new Hello Neighbor. Speaking of Hello Neighbor. Um, oh, Fallout. Fallout seventy six. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, duh. I remember right. uh, Beta Xbox only. That's, oh, day that, five, let, seven. Me, let me get some impressions. Who played it? Who played the beta? I have wait, wait, wait. The Wait, Fallout can we, is this the one we can talk about? Yeah, you probably. I think you should be able to talk about it you know, as long as you don't stream it. Like, show the video. No, I don't think you're supposed to talk about it. Oh, either. come on, man. Remember, hey, hey. <laughs> I, don't I don't want her getting talk. blocked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and then also they have Dark Siders 3, which I'm looking forward to that one. Dark Just Siders Cause 3. 4. Yep. Which I won't be playing, but <laughs> me either. Yeah, that was quick. Well, I ain't playing either, but at least hoping somebody that you know was Super Smash Bros. is coming out on the seventh um, of December. Maybe. Nice. But then, oh, when is what's name coming out? I guess that's next year. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Two thousand twenty. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming out the first month of two thousand nineteen. So January 2019. All right, that's it. That's it for the rest of the year. But um, yeah, they got a they got a Final Fantasy coming out too. World of Final Fantasy, um, which is like the little, I think the little Chibo looking Final Fantasy characters or whatever, something like that. They look like Chibos, like little mini Chibos. Um, Ooh, I might want to play this Super Mario U Deluxe. 
You can have that boss. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So that's it, man. No, I guess no more questions. I, I'm looking in the chat. I don't really see many. Uh. So yeah, I guess that's it, man. I guess it's time to do outros. I know, right? right. Yes. No, I'm a little bit sad. Yeah, y'all go back and play Red Dead. Yeah. Hell yeah, it's already it's already up. Like just waiting. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna try to play it while we were uh while we were doing this, but it's too much talking. I can't focus on both. Yeah, oh, it is, Lord. and this because it, it the dialogue is deep. I love it. Oh, <laughs> Delilah Darksiders three yes. comes out. Yes, I, I mentioned it. I mentioned it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, okay, farming wait. Simulator wait, 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 19, wait. if anybody's interested in that. Farming Simulator 19. Oh, God. I also <laughs> want to uh, point out that uh, a new Civilization game is going to be coming mm-hmm. to the Switch. My dad loves Civilization. I don't know if you guys ever played that, like on the PC when the, you were younger. I played the one on Xbox back in the day. That shit was hilarious. I loved it. Yeah. Sid Myers, you know you love that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, oh wait, wait! Yep, I, oh, of course, boredom sets in. Pills the question, right? When we're gonna shut down, right? Uh, do you trust game reviews? Why? Ooh, this why is a good not? one. This is a good one. It depends right. on who First it is. I, no, no. Well, that part too. No, <laughs> I do not trust game reviews. I would rather trust my friends, lady, the right. li- um, Delilah, El Boogie. I would rather listen to them, y'all in the chat, right. than I would a review. Yeah, yeah. Like if it's from a company, I don't trust it. Yeah, like I trust, if it's from GameSpot I trust, or anything yeah. like that, I don't trust it. But like certain people that I watch or whatever on YouTube, I know, you know, like if they like things that I like, you know, if they like are critical of things that I'm critical of, then I'm more apt to trust their review. But you got to play it. Yeah, like I, I don't, I, I guess I'm kind of in the same boat. I mean, I don't trust exclusive sites. So meaning, like, I don't trust if it's a PlayStation exclusive site. Like, that's all that's all they cover. I don't trust if it's, trust if it's an Xbox exclusive site. If the Xbox is all they cover, and the same thing for Nintendo because there's a little bit of bias always. Um, I feel like it's gonna be some padding going on. Um, and it's crazy because I used to run an Xbox exclusive site, so it's kind of like a knock to myself because uh. I don't trust those sites, man. Like I know, because I understand the bias. I understand them rooting for their favorite team, so to speak. Right. Um, and I don't trust game for certain, like legit, legit. Like I don't trust Game Stop, uh, Spot, Game Spot, as far as I can throw them. I just don't trust them. Uh, I feel like they're, they're too tied to big corporations in order to um, give an actual fair review. I think some of the things are, you know, whether it's enticed by advertising revenue. Or, and same thing with IGN. I feel like they're, they're just too big to give a fair mm-hmm. and honest review. They're just too big because it's all about making money. And they at this point, IG the IGNs and the game uh, spots, they're competing with YouTube. And they got to try to make their money. And so sometimes they'll put a controversial review out just to kind of get the mm-hmm. clicks. And so some of my favorite games has gotten bad reviews because of that. And especially when you play games all your life. And so you know a good game when you play one. And they turn around and give a game like a you know six out of ten or seven out of ten and you like man how how would the you know with this great production value and how with this quality um you know graphics and with this gameplay like how that's impossible like it to me that's that was the 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 last straw for me it was like yo and so now i don't even trust those sites i don't go to those sites they're not they're not even in my day my daily um right thing like i would check reddit i would go with watch my uh my, my girls you know their streams and you know check youtube some of my favorite youtubers and skip their opinions prior to checking any review i mean i don't even read reviews anymore i used to be big on reading reviews i don't even read reviews anymore um, yeah so for me it's like you know i just i go on my instincts i go with i do my research on the developer um, that's a big one because I know if it's um, you know Rockstar, if it's CD Projekt Red, that's going to likely be lit. Um, if it's Insomniac, it's probably going to be good. Like you, so you start once you learn the history of some of these developers, you know what kind of efforts going to be put forward in regards to like game quality and things like that. So that's what I trust. Yeah, I agree. I that like that's way. why I like listening to uh, the Xbox Two with uh, Jez because I agree with Jez. Like. For the most part, what on most things. So, like, I like listening to him and his opinions on games. So, see, I can't like, like with jazz. I, 
I struggle with jazz. Some stuff, some of his stuff is really good, but I, I but see, like you probably really along with Rand, right? Yeah, like <laughs> no, I'm really, I don't really trust Rand either. To me, Rand got some oh, okay. terrible taste. He got terrible taste. Yeah, man. he he killed me when he said Inside what is it, was his favorite game of the year. I'm like, bro, no, no, we know. Yeah, happen. I mean, everybody <laughs> has their, their differences, but you have to like listen and know like. If, like I said, if they like like the same things you like, well, you know, and know that you know, if he says something that maybe you don't have to take it for you know gospel or whatever, because you may still like it. You know what I mean? And see, I feel like my problem with Rand with his with his reviews is that I feel like he don't play games the right way because his his primary attention is to get gamer score. So in my opinion, it's mm-hmm. like how much are you really paying attention to the game? How much are you really uh, focusing on the gameplay and focusing on the dialogue? Like how are you you too busy looking at clicking on a button to look at the score to to kind of stay on score and stuff like that? Like to me, I, that's why I can't trust his reviews all the time. I'm never like a, I'm not truly one to one aligned with anybody because I always right. feel like I can try the game myself and come up to my own. Yeah. Game. Even with Jez, there's like things that I don't think that I totally agree with, but you know, like mm-hmm. I feel like I'm more in line. Yeah, I'm more in line with him. But yeah, but I do like Xbox. You know what I mean? And he loves Xbox and Microsoft too. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. I try not to be biased at all. You know, yeah, but I know that sometimes like I'm like, you know, yeah, like that's my team. Mm-hmm. I, I like them. So you know. What about you, Sharice? Uh, I don't trust your views. I used to. I'm like the. I used to. I used to read them all the time. I really did. Um, used to write them too. I remember when I was running the site, like she yeah. was writing stuff for me and stuff. Man, I appreciate I, that. Again, yeah. I, again, because I, I was a writer, still am a little bit. I'm getting back into that, but not gaming stuff is normal stuff. Um, but after a while, I was noticing even with mine, you're trying to be objective in your review, and a lot of people wasn't. They were like trying to. If you're gonna compare a game, yeah. compare it to a game in that in that genre of games. You're gonna um, do an RPG, compare it only to RPG. Mm-hmm. Not compare it to some shooter over here that did something better. That's not you. You know, it's I don't know. It to me, that's not how I was taught to compare and contrast. That's not how you do that. You're gonna compare and contrast something. At least keep it in the same genre of things. And a lot of reviews are stretching yeah. trying to get that 500 word minimum in. They're um. And it just got to the point where I didn't. I stopped trusting them because I was like, okay, this. Tra- I still want to play this game, but this review said it was crappy. But then I end up playing the game anyway, and it's like, what the hell? This game is awesome. Um, so after a while, I don't, I don't think I've read an actual whole entire review in like the last four years. Um, I just I don't do it anymore. Um, maybe one day in the future, but not anytime soon. I, I really love um, when Boredom sets in next question though. He says. Um, <clears throat> what games in your backlog do you want to finish but have not got a chance to complete? Um, I want to answer this because, like, I got my backlog is ridiculous. But there's a couple series that I want to finish. I just haven't got around to finishing, and I have three. So the my first one is the Evil Within series one and two. I know that surprised some people because I don't like scary games, but I really want to finish the Evil Within one and two. Um, the Metro series because I know it's like two games right now, and they got another one coming out. And also Wolfenstein series. I'm I'm behind on on Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, have you said Steen or Stein, whatever. Yeah. I finished the last one. I didn't finish the one before that. I got to the end but didn't finish it. And then the last one I finished. So I'm looking forward to the next one. They got another one coming, right? Manic about, about the daughters? Yes. Did you did you see that? Yeah. 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 So I'm excited for that. And then um, but for me, and I know you guys are gonna like get on my case, but I haven't <laughs> finished Shadow of the Two Raiders. Yeah, yeah. You need I haven't finished that either. Put everything so in pause and finish that. Me too. And technically, yeah. technically, it just came out. It's not even been out a whole month yet, or maybe a month and a half. So it's right. technically not in backlog yeah. yet. It's still sitting beside, you know, it's still up on your dashboard somewhere, like the right. play games. It ain't got to the bottom yet, so you're still good. Mm-hmm. Um uh so my, Well Sri said I'm dead, so I haven't finished finished Witcher 3 I'm so mad that I have not completely finished The Witcher 3 Um, Other than that that's probably about it Um, Because I try to complete all of my games Within at least 6 months Um, So I'm kind of mad at that Um, Black Ops or God of War Neither Oh wow Black Ops or God of War? God of War, man. Like, I, that game is so good. God of War. 
on PlayStation. That game's dope. The new one. Yeah, new I'm going to try to get one um, for Christmas. I'm hoping that there's going to be some good um, deals for Christmas time. So I'll be able to get like a PlayStation. What do you think I should get? Should I get a Pro or should I get the vanilla? Is it worth oh, getting the Pro? Man, I don't know if it's worth getting the Pro, man. That whole 4K, the whole yeah, uh, false right. advertising 4K. <laughs> Man, yeah, why can't like it slim good enough? You ain't getting much, right? Yeah. And then I'm assuming that they're gonna have some good deals at like GameStop for Black Friday for like used ones and stuff. Like, I don't have to have a new one, yes, yeah, unless it's like a really good deal. For. Yeah, dang, Jazzy, you said state of the K, you so right. Like, I didn't finish state of the K2 yet. Like, oh no, I, I got through one legacy, oh, so man. you know what? I'm not gonna, I didn't finish state of the K because again, it scared me. I don't do well with jump scares. Yes, I'm trying to clear rooms either. and buildings and shit jumping out at me. I'm shooting random sofas and stuff. That's not good. I'm wasting ammo. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, like, I just kept my people kept dying, man. I I couldn't keep it. I couldn't keep people alive. I was like, man, I'm a terrible survival person. I would just die. Like everybody kept dying. <laughs> like she's gonna be in the corner, rocking back and forth. Well, like, come you know, on, y'all. My favorite character died. That was it. It was a wrap. I'm like, man, my character did. Like, I don't even want to play no more. Like. I, I can't play as her. One. I can't play as her. You know what? She gone. That's what we should play on Halloween. Halloween night. That's State what we should decay. play. State of play it co-op. Yeah, they got a bunch of um new DLC for Halloween too, so I'm down for that. Yeah. All right, do I think that's I'm a wrap? Going. I think that's a wrap. You guys, yeah. did you get something else to say? Oh no, that's all. Um, but again, this has been interesting. Thank y'all again for uh the chat for chilling with us today. This morning, this afternoon. Um, yeah, I hope y'all ready for that uh, Crackdown 3 multiplayer at yes, XO. Yes, I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm waiting to hear. Can't wait for all the stories to say how crappy it is. Right. You already know what it is. Oh, yeah. It's expected, <laughs> yeah. though. It's expected now. We know what they're going to say, so it is what it is. I mean, if they, for me, if they if they got the multiplayer down, the game is going to look and play phenomenal because, like I said, I saw the map. I saw the way it looks. And that's a really colorful game. Yeah, it's. I'm excited yeah. for the single player, man, because I played back in 2017 um, when they had it on the show floor. I enjoy what I played because I, I like Crackdown, though. I like the first one, so for me, I it's like, yo, you know, it's just an open sandbox. You destroying stuff, you, you know, you trying to kill all the bosses and you keep it keep it moving, like get the orbs and go, like. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> so it's it's really nothing to it. It's it plays like Crackdown. It feels like Crackdown. So I don't know what people. Like. You know, are yeah. expecting at this point. You know, I think it's mostly people who have never played a Crackdown game, and so they try to compare it with their favorite sandbox game, and that's where they right. go, they go wrong. But yeah, I'll do that. You're gonna get sad at this point again. We're reviews. Don't try to compare if it's not in the same right. room. Don't do that. Like I'm not right, take your take your right behind now, the red box. Did. Rent. Yeah, go to, to Redbox. That's right, Redbox. It didn't go. All right. Red you rent box. it for a night and see if you like it. I mean, that's the reason why we got all these rental places. Like, take it, see if you like it. And if you don't like it, you don't you didn't have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. There you go. I mean, but, um, you know, there's no no loss, no qualm. You good to go. Cool. Shout out to uh what's his name? Vaca on here who uh, uh, pointed out Dr. the Vaca, Black Desert. Yep. Yep. Pointed out that Black Desert beta. Which I have That's already right. got into. Yay! What? This girl getting all. <laughs> what are you talking babies? about? And why you don't tell it's nobody? Open, like how are you get into all these betas and you don't tell <laughs> well, nobody? Well, <laughs> this one is open, so you might. I think you should get to get into it too. But I got my email like Wednesday or Thursday. They say that I automatically got into it. Um, as far as November the eighth, um, and it should be open, so I should be able to stream it. I should be able to talk about it. Um, but it's and a, what is the game? M-M, it's an MMORPG. I'm, if I'm okay. not mistaken. Yeah, um, like I, I'm all looking at that right now. Yeah, she loves um, So yes, yes, but yes. Thank you for um, pointing that out, Lock. I love that part right there. That I don't do I dark, and I do white love. Uh, yeah, she. I'm so jealous. <laughs> you get on my nerves. <laughs> but yeah, you're not a you're uh, not a team okay. player. <laughs> okay, the next time I get into a beta, I swear I'm gonna send you the first code I get. For <laughs> No, I'm not saying that. Like you go, you have to, you have to go on these sites and register. Like yes, you so that's tell, what I'm saying. Like you could be you like, hey, this beta is open to register. I'm registering. I'm registering. Go put your name y'all. in. Like, right. Look at me, y'all. Look, I'm doing this. Right. Like follow me. I'm so and video. you know when I register with these funny betas, when I'm in my office looking at your stream. <laughs> 
So that is even worse, worse because yeah. you're sitting there doing it while you have an open line to tell me. Like, that's worse. Why did you think that was going to be like, helpful like oh yeah, you mean really? You're playing. <laughs> Man, I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. She's like, oh, yay. I'm watching the stream. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I have another there stream. Okay, next time I do it, I'm going to tell y'all remind me to tell Boogie next time a, a beta is announced. Hey, don't just tell Boogie, tell me right. too. Tell everybody. Too. Put it in the <laughs> chat. We got a group chat. <laughs> My bad. Jeez. My bad. But yeah, um, let's get ready for these outros for these ladies who can jump on this red dead. Yeah, um, you see, she's trying to change the subject. Yeah, she is. She's segwaying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. We're we going to start with Delilah this time. Yes, okay. <laughs> Well, you guys know you can follow me um, on Twitter at Delilah underscore HD right here on Growing the Gaming and sometimes on GRG on Fridays. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for rocking out with us and uh, we appreciate it. See you next week. And the lovely El Boogie. All right, guys. I really appreciate everybody who came through. I'm so happy with all the love we got during the Red Dead contest. Um, we love you guys. Hopefully we'll have some more contests coming at you guys with the upcoming video games it'd be nice if every time there's a big launch we can all do this um and yeah hope you guys have a yeah, wonderful and shout weekend out to, when, who won nico who did, the, the yeah is right this now. yeah is this him right yeah here? Darn nico. nicola, nicola gaming nicola nicola Gaiman. Gaiman. yeah shout is out that congratulations you? if that's you yeah i think that's you <laughs> yeah i think that's you <laughs> yes but yeah Congrats on thank you a copy of red dead redemption 2 great game yeah apparently which i'm gonna have to go buy um but yes thank you again everybody for showing up and talking to us today um again lady will be here next week with her report on twitch.com i want to double space and typed up um, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, words, y'all go home. <laughs> all right bye y'all